Do you think, do you believe, do you feel that you have in some reasonable measure atoned for your past? Well, you know, it's very interesting that you say that. I don't believe that we can ever make up for our past. What's done is done. And that's one of the things that I, that have really attracted me to the Christian faith. How do you make up for some things that you've done in your life? They're already done. They're, they're done, you know, um, especially in that life. But based upon Christianity, if you're sincerely sorry for your sins and accept Christ, well, then your sins are forgiven. So do I believe my sins are forgiven? Absolutely. I 100% believe that because that's the basis of our faith. If I didn't believe that, there's, there's nothing to believe in. And what happened, Jordan, when I was coming out of prison that last time, they finally let me out of the hole for a few months that I had uh, left to, for my time. Well, the FBI came to me and they said, we need a favor from you. We want you to participate in a video that all the pro leagues are getting involved in about the dangers of gambling to their athletes. Very long story short, I participated in that video inside the prison and said, this is how we set up the athletes. This is exactly how we did it. And this is what they should watch and, and be careful of. Well, when I got out, the leagues came to me directly. And to make a very long story short, I started speaking with all the, to all the ball players back in 1996 when I got out of prison about the dangers of gambling, the relationships that they keep. That led to me speaking in churches, giving my testimony. And that's been going on since 1996. I've been all over the world in all different forums. I've spoken at over 1,600 churches and ministries throughout my time. So I think, I think that was God's plan and purpose for me. And I totally believe, totally believe that, you know, what the enemy meant for bad, God will turn around and use for good in our life if we allow him to. So I think the platform that, that I went into was, was used because people are so intrigued with the mob life everywhere you go. I mean, I found out, you know, in China, the, the biggest movie ever in China was The Godfather. I've experienced that in Singapore, Australia, you name it. I just did a 16-city tour in the United Kingdom, and you would have thought I was a rock star. I couldn't believe it.